Hey, it's Jake with churchfront.com. In this video, I'm gonna give you a tour of a uh, church plant that has done a really great job of building a high quality audio, visual, and lighting system on a really low budget. Yesterday, I went and visited my friend Josh Shaw. He's the lead pastor at Lighthouse Church in Lakewood, Colorado. And Lighthouse is a new church plant. They're only like two years old. Um, they started in this little warehouse space and then they were meeting in a high school. They were set up and tear down church every week. And just a few weeks ago, they were able to have the opportunity uh, to, to be able to move into a more permanent church building uh, to be able to have, have worship on Sundays and then also have their offices there throughout the week and they don't have to do any set up and tear down on the weekends anymore. So I went to go visit Josh and we went, we recorded a podcast, which hopefully you can listen to pretty soon here when I launched the Church Front podcast. And I thought it would be a good idea to bring my camera along, kind of show you uh, what they're doing at their church to take an old, uh, very old church building. Um, I mean, it's not very old compared to some, but older building built in like the 50s or 60s or 70s, somewhere in there, hasn't been really updated since then. Um, they're taking this old building and they're trying to transfer Form it to be like you know relevant to modern day culture and a, and a welcoming space for new people who are visiting their church plant. All right, so I am in Lakewood, Colorado, visiting my friend Josh. We're gonna record a podcast, and he's gonna give me a tour of the new church building his church moved into. There he is, the man of the hour. How's it going, man? Hey. Hey. Uh, your roof up here. It's still not fixed. It's still not fixed. What happened there? Freaking hail, bro. Oh, hail. I'm like, literally. Massive. Oh my gosh. Balls. Just massive balls. <laughs> we get some pretty nasty hailstorms here in Colorado and tornadoes. Um, church was planted in like 1940 something and uh, Presbyterians built buildings and then they would start churches. And so what they did is they literally built this half of the building. And I'll mm -hmm. show you, like there's a super old sanctuary in there. Very bright pink, it's wonderful. Built the building, Presbyterian church uh, grew. It grew so fast that like 20 years later, they went from a building that sat like literally 80 people to the sanctuary, which we've done a ton of stuff too, but it used to sit about 350. And they went from like 100 people until 1980 something, they had over 1,200 Whoa. people coming. Three services, super innovative for Presbyterian Church. And then uh, in the 90s, something happened. Like no one know. like I've not been told anything. Mm. All I know is that it went from 1,200 to in 15 years, 50. And they said to us that they want the building, they basically said like, we want the Easter story of our church to be that as we die, new life comes from that, which is us and we're the church that takes over. It's kind of like Vegas wedding chapel. Yeah, or, totally. um, yeah. One thing I really admire about uh, Josh's leadership and what they've done at Lighthouse is that they've really had to bootstrap the church plant. Um, they didn't have a bunch of money, like tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars to launch a church. They had to start with very little and Josh went out and raised the funds um, and then he's been able to like build the church you know both obviously getting people to come there but then also the infrastructure of the church that you'll see in a minute um, he's been able to build those things on a relatively lower budget because they're too close together so you can't really like uh, you can't get out of a pew unless someone gets out <laughs> it's they're so close up here for confidence mind it's like an IMAX experience in here. How big is this screen? Uh, I think it's 18 feet wide and 13 and a half feet tall. It's a 16 by 9 oh, wow. one. So it's a big Jeez. screen. So there's a company called Carl's Projection. And okay. you can make your own projection screens. I think I've seen that online. They'll sell you the screen. Yeah. And then they will sell you cornered ends of metal. And you go get the pipe at Home and Depot? And you go get it cut and you build it. And okay. that screen was it like, like four hundred bucks? This package was six ninety nine because oh, we got okay. the rear projection package. If we yeah. got a front projection white, it would have been like three ninety nine. Wow. The screen was just more expensive because oh, it's rear, rear projection. projection. Okay, yeah. So wow, we got the screen and the ends and the schematics for it for like six hundred or four hundred some bucks, and then the rest of the piping took a day to cut. Wow. And then the rest of it, that cost us 150 bucks. So we literally got a functional, like, you know, 15 foot screen fills an entire sanctuary for less than $1,000. Because there was no stage here, 
Yeah. We're extending the stage out another four feet next week. And then Josh was telling me about how they installed um, the whole audio system themselves. Like they put up the new speakers, they created all their cabling. Um, he got a good deal on a lot of the gear because he has a friend um, who works for an audio company and was able to basically get everything for them at cost. So um, that saved them a lot of money as well. And we installed all of it ourselves. We built all of our own cables. So we, we didn't buy any Cat5s. We mm -hmm. made all of them, made all of our own XLRs. Wow. made all of our own power cons wow. and it took us a week and a half and we installed the entire sound system and the lighting system all leds all running on luminaire on an ipad app everything is completely digital <laughs> and wi-fi based and it only cost us a full sound lighting system for a church that can functionally if we ran three services we'd be right around a thousand people <laughs> and it only cost us about seven thousand five hundred for the entire thing wow. there is one and then they, this signal gets ran to one of our routers. Okay. And this guy is a DMX out and it gets sent to all of our lights and we have an iPad in the back. And the iPad runs all of our scenes for our lights. We've got movers, everything, it memorizes all of that on scenes. There we go. There we go. Yep. and then you've got more yep. delay, and then I think we've got some compressors, and we've got a EQ as well. So overall, Josh was telling me that like they, they were able to basically put in um, this this great audio, video, and lighting system for less than $8,000, which you know it sounds like a, a lot, but in the world of, uh, of tech and gear and production, that's like, nothing that's like you usually pay someone eight thousand dollars just to come install your projector and screen or something like that because labor costs so much um, i've been in churches where they spend a half a million dollars on basically achieving the same thing so um, i just hope your takeaway from this i know my takeaway is just a reminder of like man you do not have to spend hundreds of thousands or even tens of thousands of dollars to have amazing production equipment at your church like there's so many ways if you do the research and you just shop around and you just learn how this stuff works you can figure out how to do it on your own and save your church and your ministry a bunch of money so thank you josh if you're watching this for taking time to give me a tour and also the church front community a tour of your space i love what you guys are doing at lighthouse church if you want to learn about lighthouse church go to lighthousechurch.tv you can learn all about the church and um, follow their social accounts and such so and again if this video is helpful for you in your ministry hit that like button uh, share it with other folks who it could be helpful with and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to continue to receive content to help you grow yourself and grow your church. Okay. We have